Hi guys. It's Friday evening. It's actually just gone 9.30 at night. Didn't do a video yesterday because I tried and then it was... Bleh. I just couldn't be bothered in the end. Um, <laughs> that's the bottom line. I just couldn't be bothered really. Um, but I did go to Lidl's and I did get the two spotlight bulbs for that. And I fixed the dodgy connection on this one. It was just loose wire in the back of the lamp holder. Um, which I wouldn't have had to have worried about touching the metal case because of the way it's all designed. It's actually under a plastic cover that clips onto the back of the lamp holder and doubles up as the bracket to um, fix it to the little mounting tube that goes to the stand. So there's no way the live or the neutral wire could have come off and touched that um, metal framework. The um, out metal housing of the um, lamp. But it's working now. I've reseated the loose wire because it was a live wire. As soon as I pulled the plastic cover off and started moving the lamp hold around, the wire fell off. So it's kind of obvious what the problem was. <laughs> so that's done. I've got the lights done under here. I've now got two strips of this end joined together and two that end joined together. And then just a little connecting wire in the middle. So I could spread them enough. Uh, I'm just trying to think what I bought yesterday. I'm sure I'm missing something. Because I'm bloody sure it wasn't, wasn't just the LED bulbs and whatnot I bought from Lidl yesterday either. Wire cutters. I've got three pairs of those. Those two will actually cut brake cables, and oddly enough, one of them wouldn't. They weren't sharp enough. I suppose it's luck of the draw and how well they get sharpened at the factory. But those two will cut, and the ones that won't, I've stuck in a, my electrical drawer up there. I also went into um, Black Record, yeah, Black Records, and got these. Def Jam Vendetta. I believe that is not one I've got. I've got one over a hundred games down here, so I'm forgetting what I have and haven't got. Wild Wild Racing, Rage. Looked interesting. That's why I bought it. It really did look interesting. Ooh. Begging your pardon. Um, he's also got, in a glass cabinet, where he puts his more, ex you know, more collectible games on various consoles. Um, destroy all humans for four quid. So I'm very, very tempted to go in and go and get that. Because I completely forgot that game exists. Good. <laughs> so uh, I want to get it. Couldn't build that Lego set because there was too much of it missing. It's too incomplete, uh, which doesn't matter. It's just you know, I've got a pile of loose Lego to go and put away. And today, for twelve ninety nine, I bought this battery charger. Um, don't really need it because I've got shitloads of battery chargers, but I bought this one because it's got. Well, because it well I know exactly what all the you know the light codes are and it tells you on the LCD display as well and it's a rapid charger as well the um, other ones I've got like there's one sitting at the corner there that you can't see it's a slow charger it could take seven to eight nine ten hours to charge a set of batteries up so and that's just like my other ones <laughs> so Considering that can take two to three hours to charge up some batteries, I went for that. I thought it's time I got something a little bit better. That was uh, close to my price range as well. Whew. But other than that, I haven't done a lot today. Sold that Apollo bike. Someone, completely at random actually, um, contacted me on Facebook. Uh... Um, I picked it up at about 5 o'clock this afternoon. I let it go for 20 quid. Uh, so I've just got the ladies one left now. Um, I'm going to Mum's tomorrow. Well, unless she rings me later and says otherwise. But as far as I am aware... 
at this moment in time I'm going to mum's tomorrow and we're going to do some dump runs I <laughs> so I won't be going to the dump on the way to mum's I'll wait until we get to hers load up the car and then if there's anything down there I can bring it back to mum's and then bring it home here um, I don't know if I'll be going out Sunday as well I'll ask her that no doubt she'll ring later so I'll ask her that later yeah I think that is it for this video. It's quite a short one, I think. <laughs> Five minutes and I've actually ran out of things to talk about. I haven't bought much. Um, I adjusted the brakes on my hybrid bike because they were getting a bit... They worked, but they were a bit... Too much movement in the brake lever for my own personal taste, so... I readjusted those. Brake blocks are getting a bit worn, but still plenty of life in them yet and they're still working fine so as I say if it ain't broke don't fix it if I crash into a brick wall and I might change the brake blocks <laughs> um, oh yes that was the other thing um, their fourth skip counting their big fucking huge one they ordered the first time is full. They must have done that on my birthday when I went to Mum's and on the day when they put the bar across the entrance there to stop cars getting in. Although Mum's 4 before is actually small enough for her to get through the gap. <laughs> um, but I went round there today and yeah it's full so I've rescued a shovel. What looks like a vintage shovel actually. A um, couple of metal spikes for that sort of stuff there. Another traffic cone for the sheer hell of it. Um, oh, and a barrier foot, weighted foot. So um, for the, that type of barrier, I now need two posts and one foot. I've got to find. But I didn't even know that barrier foot was there. It's just buried right up the corner under a bunch of shit. So it's probably, judging by the cobwebs, it had been sitting under there for probably years, actually. It's just a shame there wasn't another post or something laying around there. I mean, they had all that pile of planks there, but I didn't see any posts, so... <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. Uh, yeah, I don't think I rescued anything else. They might get away with, well, I don't know what they're going to do. I don't know if they're going to order one more skip to get rid of what little is left, because there isn't a lot there now. Or if they're just going to let that get picked up and call it quits. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. There's now t three of the barns are pretty much completely empty now. Um... There's some car tyres in there. I don't think they can get away with putting those in a skip. I don't think. Hmm. I might sneak this big board that's leaning up in the bedroom down over the weekend and toss that in the skip there's a bit of room in there I might toss some more shit in there as well for them because there's still plenty of room they could easily toss some more crap in there <coughs> ouch at least it's not raining it's supposed to get showers tomorrow Showers I can live with. Because every time it rains you can just jump inside and wait for it to stop. And then go back to what you were doing. Right. Anyway, on that note. What it looks like under here now. Actually, should I go turn the... Should we turn these on as well? Oh, bloody hell, that's broke. Turn this one off. Turn the main light off. 
I actually loads up this area nicely. And I could say four four watts of electric by using these because uh, theoretically they're only 16 watts if the 8 watt rating is accurate could be a little bit less could be a little bit more um, what was it I think they used something like 0 which it looks quite nice under there doesn't it those are great lights to use if you've got shelves like that that you want to light up although the connecting cables are rather short so you'd either have to make your own up or you could get that LED tape you can get LED sticky back tape that you could cut to length and solder on your own wires and whatnot and craft it yourself <laughs> I'm so glad I glued that switch there. There's a better place to put it. Oh yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Just quickly unscrew this bulb. And... Cause it's got... Ooh. That's not even warm. 8 watts, 70 milliamps these years, apparently. I want to get one of them plug-in testers that big Clive used so I can actually test to see if what they're rated at is actually anywhere true. 2700K, is that the colour rating if I remember correctly? 16 LED, it's an E27, Edison screw 27 I presume. Uh, 530LM, lumens. Yeah, 50 hertz. 220 to 240 volt, 50 hertz, 8 watts, 70 milliamps. So in total, if the 70 milliamps is true, this lamp wouldn't be pulling more than 140 milliamps. Not even near an amp. How would you even fuse that? Because there's no way, not even close to an amp. Yay. Hey. That's what I like about this, you can have one or the other on, or both on. For some reason the switch is working upside down. Whee! Anyway, I'm going to shut the camera off. Got some batteries charging. I think Nemo wants some attention. <laughs> Might do a quick follow-up video of these sets for the uh, Lego channel when the batteries are charged and uh, that'll be it for the night get these uploaded as I said I'm at mum's tomorrow unless things have changed and I won't know that until she rings me Whew. yeah that's it so thanks a lot for watching a short video for a change and uh, I'll talk to you again probably at some point tomorrow. So uh, I'll see you. I've got my tongue in a total twist there. If I try again, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.